Allow me to bore you with a statement that I'm certain could fit in any movie where the topic is self-reflection. The more you go through life and you have all those sins weighing you down that you've left unchecked, the more they will pile up and the more they will weigh you down when it comes to crunch time throughout the rest of your life. It's happened to me, I'm certain it's happened to a few of you, and I'm certain the people who will say, it has never happened to me, it's gonna happen to you today, cause karma's a bitch and that bitch move fast. And there's no greater example than my favorite cartoon Disney villain mayor, Tiffany Hinyard, Heinyard, whatever you want to call her, because she is notorious for being somebody who is not a helpful person, but a hindrance to everybody she's supposed to lead because she's the fucking mayor. And for some reason, in the midst of her trying to stand all business and announcing that she's for some reason making a podcast, Dalton Mayor Tiffany Hinyard is launching what she calls the most entertaining political podcast ever. Yes, but this all comes as she is being investigated by the FBI for allegations of corruption. Roseanne joins us live with more details on what she is up to now. Roseanne. Well, Anthony, Anita, last week even as residents lined up at a board of trustees meeting to question her conduct in office, she continues to call herself the super mayor. And her new podcast debuting next week on Spotify is called Truth Speaks, the Tiffany Henyard On The Move podcast. Now, it comes as Henyard is being investigated by federal agents, we know. Since Henyard took office back in 2021, some local business owners have complained that they can't get their licenses renewed and are being harassed after refusing to donate to Henyard events. The police chief accuses Henyard of misusing her security detail, and Henyard has spent taxpayer money on trips and self-promoting billboards. So I heard you guys were looking for me. If you're looking for Tiffany Henry, press the subscribe button. Yes, you. Press the subscribe button. So, what do you want me to talk about? This or that? This and that? Or me? And there's a taste of that podcast, which, again, is supposed to start on Spotify next week. Now, the Board of Trustees did vote just last week to have her investigated after those residents sounded off about her lack of accountability. Back to you. She has once again responded to all the criticism. And yes, it's fucking terrible. Florida will have to wait until next month to try and override the mayor who blamed the trustees and the media for causing chaos in the village. When all the dust Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard got right to the point last night, shutting down trustees and critics. The veto message um, is related to the secret square meetings, yes, that the Board of Trustees have. At an emergency board meeting late last month, board members voted unanimously to call for a federal investigation into corruption and for the mayor and her administration to open up the village's financial records. It was a meeting she and two of her allies did not attend. Stop creating chaos in your village. Trustees aren't letting up. They plan to override the mayor's veto at the next board meeting. This is just a... A process to drag it along, but everybody see what's going on. Some former board members support the trustees calling for the investigation. The mayor can blame everybody for what's going on, but she has to look at herself. Nobody told her to get on TV and lie like that. The former trustee referring to a WGN investigate story, which focused on the mayor's use of taxpayer money, not only as mayor of Dalton, but as Thornton Township's supervisor and her charity. Only judge when you got both sides of the story, not one side of narratives, which is negative narratives in the media. The village under Henyard's leadership moved the media at last night's meeting to the back of the room, nearly out of sight of people speaking during public comment. But their message to the mayor was heard loud and clear. You lie to us as residents. You do not, you do not stand for me. And I want you to step down as mayor today and save our village from this deficit that you have called. Now, the mayor does admit to a $2 million budget deficit, but trustees say it's really millions more with some of the village's vendors not getting paid. I don't understand how that many people could look you square in the face and basically tell you get the fuck up out of this position because you are a hindrance to everybody and you still sit there confident thinking that in your mind, you know what would be great right now is if I drop a podcast episode. Maybe I could do one with Joe Rogan. Maybe I could do one with Dave Chappelle. Maybe I could dig up Gabriel Iglesias and make him scream fluffy all night while I rub his back and maybe these people will understand that I am the true leader of this village because no one else could come in and do what I'm 
I'm doing because anybody else could be a better fucking option because you are an embarrassment. You have not done anything to have sustain any form of positive outcomes to this area. All these people are coming to you and saying, you the problem, you lied, you the issue, get up out of there. And you, in your egotistical mind, are not thinking clearly. You're thinking everyone's against you. Everyone is your opposition. Everyone is out to get you. And as somebody who has lived in that mindset, let me just tell you one thing. You are the problem and you are always going to be the problem until you stand proud and say, you know what? fucked up here. Let me leave and let somebody else come in this position. You're probably still being investigated by the FBI within good reason. This is not something people will just continuously ignore. They will see this. They will see more of this. They've even pushed for it. And all the weird examples that have come up about you and how you want to go against the people who have opposition towards you make you look worse. They don't make you look confident. They don't make you look strong. They don't make you look courageous. They make you look like a tyrannical ruler who's trying so hard to be right but doesn't understand everybody looks at you as the wrong individual you can spout all this bullshit about how everybody don't know the paper trail they don't know the paperwork they don't know all the good things i do they're not seeing it because of the laundry list of shit people have found out about you in these past few months or years where you are doing nothing for this village of people who thought you would have been the good option even though you're sitting there so confidently it stands to reason why everybody has a right to look at you and say get the fuck up out of there and i don't feel bad for you. I hope at some point you look at yourself and say, I got to get up out of here. And for everybody else, if I could end this video in any way, shape or form, we are all flawed, fucked up human beings. Don't sit here and say you pure because I will reach through this phone and choke you and say how stupid you truly are, Homer Simpson style. We all want these second opportunities to do better in life, but sometimes we gotta check ourselves before we can do that. I'm currently trying to do that to the best of my ability in different avenues in my life because I'm gonna be honest, I'm a fuck up and I've dealt with the consequences of being a fuck up and now I'm at the stage where I'm just trying to improve my life for myself and for other people. But but until I reach that point, I'm just really gonna sit here and work on myself to the best I can. And I hope individuals watching this who can share that same sentiment are doing the same. And I would also hope Tiffany Hingard or Heinyard, whatever the fuck y'all want to call her, they eventually do it too because they are some stubborn motherfuckers out there who will stand tall and think that they're in the right you are drastically in the fucking wrong. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know, is this criticism worthy for this bodacious, courageous, I poked myself in the eye, individual who's trying to lead the people or should she just get the fuck up out of there and never return to any position of power? Subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Goodbye.